Have you ever been confused about the tax bracket and how it affects your money? In today's video, we're going to be breaking it down in simple terms and explaining to you how you are taxed at each stage. Let's go. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Evan, a real estate agent and mortgage broker, here to answer all of your questions. Just a note, I am not an accountant, and I will also be linking the 2024 tax brackets in the description down below. So how does the U.S. tax system work? Well, what we use is called a progressive tax system, which means that the more money you make, the more money you are taxed on. However, not all of your money is taxed at the same rate. Since it is easier to explain with examples, let's just say that you earn $100,000 a year and you file your taxes as a single filer. With a $100,000 salary, you will be affected by three tax rates. The first one will be at 10% and be for the first $11,600. The second one will be at 12% and affect your earnings from $11,600 to $47,150. And the third rate will be at 22%, which will affect your earnings from $47,150 to $100,000. 10% of $11,600 is $1,600. 12% of $35,550 is $4,266. 22% of $52,850 is $11,627, giving you total taxes of $17,493, or 17.49% of 100, giving you an effective tax rate of about 17.5%. Many people get confused when they see that they fall into a high tax category. They're cautious to earn more money because they think they'll be earning less money since they now qualify for a higher tax bracket. This is not the case. As you can see in this chart, the tax rate changes when you make more money and only affects the money within that income range. Another thing to know is that the tax bracket changes each year to account for inflation. The ranges will get higher over time. So for example, in 2023, the first tax bracket went from zero to $11,000. While in 2024, the first bracket now goes to $11,600. That means that more of your money will be charged at a lower rate, which is good. The last thing to know is that the tax brackets that I was referring to today are for a single filer. There's other ways to file your taxes, including married couples filing jointly and heads of household. I hope this clarified the U.S. tax system for you and gave you some relief knowing that not all of your income is taxed at the same rate. The progressive tax system encourages you to earn more money and the higher rates only affect you within certain income brackets. For more questions or any other videos you want me to talk about, Write them in the comments down below. And until then, thanks for watching. If you liked what you just saw, then click the video here. Also, if you haven't, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos.